Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. Today's video will be a correction on these gorgeous glistening nails here. We'll also be changing their shape and taking care of some serious lifting. At first glance, everything looks pretty good, but as I continued taking down the coating, I discovered lifting on every single nail. And then my client had told me that she was on vacation at the beach. My client's nails are rather problematic. We've tried so many different products, different bases and polishes, and we still have yet to find something that her nails will hold without resulting in lifting. So today we'll be testing different products in the hope that maybe one of these will work for her. After removing the prior coating, it's time for our cuticle cleanup. So I'm taking my nail drill and thoroughly cleaning up the cuticle area. Once I've removed the cuticle with a pair of small scissors, I'm taking my nail file. When using your nail file, don't file in one spot over and over, but thoroughly file down any of those glossy areas that you may see. For this, I'm using a 180 grit nail file. Further, I'm dehydrating my client's nail plates, and if you ever do need to dehydrate your nails twice, don't skip it. Then I'm applying an acidic primer. I've used both acidic and non-acidic primers for her nails, and unfortunately there's been lifting with both. Once the primer has dried, I'm applying our base coat, and today I'm using a base coat for problematic nails. For today's extensions, I'm using this beautiful semi-transparent pink poly gel, which is number 11 from Global Fashion. I'm applying a couple of beads to my client's nail, and then with my brush evening out the material throughout her entire nail. Before letting them cure, I'm taking these shiny little confetti flakes and adding them right on top of her nails. Then I'm letting them cure, removing the stickiness, and then taking a clear poly gel that I'm using to seal these beautiful little decorative flakes. 
If they aren't sealed with a gel and simply covered by a top coat, they will stick through or even worse, chip off. Therefore, I'm using a layer of a builder gel to keep everything nice and safe. Since I knew earlier that I was going to be using a builder gel, I didn't add all of the extension structure with poly gel, otherwise they would end up far too thick. After I've applied and evened out the gel, I'm sending them off to cure underneath the lamp and then filing down any excess material on the sides. Further, I'm filing down the tip and a little bit on top, then I'm passing through the cuticle area with my flame bit. After cleaning up the excess material underneath, I'm going over her nails in a glossy top coat, but we're not quite finished yet. I'm letting the top coat cure for about 40 seconds underneath a 48 watt LED lamp, and then I'm applying this beautiful semi-transparent chrome powder. My client came in with a couple of inspiration picks, and we had so much fun coming up with colors and decorative ideas together. Then I'm creating some details in a white and finishing off everything in a final top coat. And we're finished. This is such a mesmerizing design and I'd say even a little magical. And what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.